Hey everybody, welcome back to Installer's Assistant. Today I have a 2008 Toyota RAV4. Uh, we're going to be taking his previous Pioneer radio out and replacing it with a newer model with CarPlay and Twit Auto and all the cool stuff that they have nowadays. Uh, for this job, I'm going to need my trusty 4140 Pry tool. You'll find a link to that in the description and a 10 millimeter socket. My one was left out last night, it's gone a bit rusty. Okay, uh, in the previous install, they put the microphone over on the side here. Uh, it works quite nicely, but I always try and get them up the top if I can. But uh, we'll see how we go. Now, on these cars, whenever you're working on one of these things, if it's your own car, it's not such a big deal, but if it's a customer's car, you will need to tell them that this area here has a very, very high tendency to snap. Now being this is 2022 and this is 2008, 14 years in Queensland sun, it gets very brittle. And there is quite a few clips up in here. So when you pull this part out, it bends, it snaps. So the best thing to do is tell the customer that it's going to break or a very high chance of breaking and they can determine if you want to continue or to leave it. Most are okay because they understand what's going on. So this one's already been on the broken. Way home, yeah. So what we're going to do, I've already mentioned this to the customer. The customer's like, yep, go ahead anyway. So I'm going to use my tool underneath this bottom edge, but I only just want to get it just enough to pop it. I'm not trying to pop it out yet. Here the pop. That's it. That's all I want because I want to take as little strain as possible through here. We can only try if it works, awesome. If it doesn't work, it's going to break. But either way, it's going to be a good video. Let's see if we can get the other side out a little bit. Okay, now we've got this side released as well. You should just be able to see it free there, but it's only pulled out a little bit. Now I can already see the stress mark right through there this is going to be fun just means it's been stressed in the past hopefully it will come out there we go nice and gentle oh look at that Okay, I can't see anything too bad there, so looks like we survived. Side two, same basic thing, just underneath the bottom edge here. Just enough to pop it, there it is. And the other side. Here we go. And again, I can see the stress mark coming through. might survive. Oh, we got it. We got it. Look at that. Success. Look at that crack right through there. So it's definitely been fixed before. Um, things don't always go to plan. You will see on my channel there's a video on uh, when things go wrong. And that was a uh, Suzuki Grand Vitara, and I put pressure in the wrong spot. Forgot about the uh, the brittleness of the plastic, and it snapped. And you'll actually hear me go, "Oops!" So it's it's a bit of entertainment. Um, that happens. All right, 10 millimeter nuts. Oh, sorry, bolts on the side. It's very very typical for Toyota to use the uh, bolts, and very typical for them to use four of them. Uh, if you can, I do recommend a magnetic 10 mil. Some cars, they are buried quite a long way back, and it's just easier to stop them from falling down the dash. Three down, last one right on the side. There we go. 
Okay, now strictly speaking, this piece will come off, but I just find it easier to take the whole thing out in one hit. And we should, depending on how the last one is done. There we go. Okay, so inside here, you can actually see just a yellow clip, and it goes through this piece. So I'm putting pressure behind it to pop it out. There's one on both sides, and there's two on the bottom corners as well. Just like that. Um, again, rather than just pulling straight, just give it a, a wiggle. Kind of like you got a nervous disorder or something like that. Sounds really bad, but that's the best way. Just nice and gentle wiggles, and it will pop a lot easier without snapping. Okay, what have we got? Antenna plug. No, camera plug. All right. Steering wheel, microphone power. And that is his aftermarket Pioneer unit in the Toyota cage. So from here we can unscrew it, replace it with a new one. I'm going to go through and double check all the wiring. It's a bit... How are you going? Back sweet. That's the steering wheel controller. Beautiful. So let's uh, fix that up, get the radio mounted, and uh, we'll continue.